all right so we're gonna make a, a little video tutorial so you, this is your i don't remember which one it is your transmitter receiver this is a receiver okay and the control is the transmitter which is back here you can't see it but so if you notice on these this is older style remote there's two channel ones channel one channel one then channel two channel three so on so let's say battery we don't use that on these older ones but you can put it on whatever channel one so your your uh, servo always goes on channel one and if you have this color so red it would be obviously positive brown is negative and yellow would be signal normally it'd be white red black so we're gonna go signal always goes first put signal in first we'll put it on on the number one doesn't matter which one so this is number one then for number two make sure you put it on actual number two you put the esc so here's the esc and we're gonna put the cable to the esc hopefully you guys can see we're gonna put it like this on number channel two there we go you see how this one's white red black so think about it as the darkest color is the negative obviously red's positive and i guess this is the brightest it can be whatever signal hopefully that helps so wire that up now we gotta wire the motor to the esc so we got these right here grab your motor you can go by color Sometimes it, it, it's backwards, but it's fine. You can always reverse them. Or you can, some controls, you can even uh, reverse it on there. Let's see if it fits. Things are really huge. Okay. So if you notice your car goes backwards, you can just put the red on this black and the black on this red or vice versa, whatever, doesn't really matter. All right, so now we gotta hook up a battery to it. So a battery goes on the ESC side. We're not gonna put a battery on this. We're gonna put on the ESC. All right, so I'm gonna put this battery on here. Make sure you turn on your, your especially these old controls, make sure you turn this control on first before turning on the ESC. Okay, positive to positive, negative to negative. Here we go. Then you gotta turn it on. You hear a little beep beep or something, whatever. So if you did it right, when you turn on your remote, which is down here, the servo should turn. See? And it's straight too. Okay, so we're gonna test out that the motor by hitting hitting over here. did that like that where you didn't like kind of tap the gas but it just started going on its own it's it's probably in your settings right here so if i turn this you start to go if i put it all the way so you want you want it to stop But yeah, 
So if it starts to go by itself, make sure your your car is uh, on something so the wheels are spinning and it's not, you know, going by itself. But yeah, or sometimes you'll hear beeping too. Like I know it does it with the process ones. With the uh, yeah brushless, so make sure you. This is the motor adjustment right here. You can turn it up or down. So with either way, you just go. One of them's gonna make it go fast. One of them's gonna make it go slow and eventually stop. So yeah. Ooh, hopefully that helps. Uh, and yeah, and this that's how you set up your home stuff for your remote and just watch out for whatever you have usually the newer ones will just say one two three whatever and also on the newer ones like let's just say this channel three right here you can plug in a set of uh leds or whatever to it too so every time you turn on the vehicle the lights will turn on too okay ho hopefully this was helpful so remember, first one, number one, servo, number two, ESC, ESC wires connect to the motor, and battery connects to the ESC, which powers everything. Alright, hope this helps.